Pisces, welcome to Monarch Intuition, and today I'm going to be doing your February 2023 monthly check-in reading for you. So if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to pull one major arcana to see the energy and then clarify with a different deck. So the world just came out. I'm going to shuffle again and get you a new card. So I'm going to take the world. I'm going to get you one more. And justice. Okay. So here's the thing. <clears throat> I feel like you are completing a cycle within your life and you are getting justice for completing the cycle. Now, justice does not always have to be, um, you know, something that we want, okay? We have to be very real about justice. Justice can be uh, the laws of equivalent exchange. So you may be completing a negative cycle within your life to gain justice so that way you can balance out the scales. You might be completing a positive cycle within your life but you might also be receiving some sort of reward at the end of the cycle. So what do we need to know about this justice energy? I'm gonna be clarifying with the Revelations Tarot. This deck does have reversals in it. So this is the theme. You complete a cycle and there is justice for you for February. So what do we need to know for Pisces? Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles coming out. We have the Queen of Swords coming out. And we have the Four of Pentacles upright. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, or Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles upright. So here's the thing. A person might be coming towards you, or this could be you, someone who is sitting on their throne. They seem to be someone who is very affluent, someone who is very well off. So when we look at the King of Pentacles, and when I say the King, like when I'm referring to a person, it could just be someone who is very well-to-do, take care, takes care of themselves, you know, um, takes care of all their bills, has everything paid, you know. So when we see the King of Pentacles, this is someone who is generally older, around 50 years of age, so 40 to 50. Now we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone is not understanding something right here. Someone is not seeing the big picture. Someone is not very clear to a situation. The Four of Pentacles represents that someone is holding on to things, okay? So, here's the thing. I feel like if you complete a cycle within your life right here, and you receive justice, the justice is that you have some sort of peace with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles means that you're able to take care of yourself. You're doing things good within your life. But you are missing the whole point. I feel like, in a way, you want justice to play out the way you want justice to play out and not the way that the law system works, okay? So, we have our own ideas of how things should be, but sometimes those are not realistic ideas, okay? That's kind of what I'm seeing with this Queen of Swords in reverse right here, is that you might not like the judgment that is given, and you're still holding on to things from the past. So what is going on with this King of Pentacles? We have the Justice coming out and the Eight of Swords. So I feel like there is a fast verdict coming towards you. So double clarification of Justice, hmm. I feel like you're going to be fairly comfortable right here, okay? You're moving towards a cycle that is very balanced and it's coming in very quickly. The King of Pentacles seems to be what the Justice is or what the Judgment is. The Queen of Swords in Reverse, the Temperance, and the Queen of Grails. I don't think you realize how the angels are helping you right here with the Queen of Grails. I feel like the angels are actually coming in and delivering you like some sort of divine guidance right here. They're really helping you move forward within your life, but I feel like you're failing to see that. What is this Four of Pentacles? The Six of Knives and messages coming in about the tower. Okay. So you're holding on. You're waiting for the tower to drop. Here's the thing. Sometimes, as I said before, the way justice plays out is not the way that we want things to play out. Okay? You might be wanting this grand spectacle of the tower falling. You might want some sort of like secret information, like did it work, did it not? I feel like justice worked because you're going to be sitting fairly comfortably with the King of Pentacles energy surrounding you. 
But even when you are surrounded with this King of Pentacles energy, when you're sitting there and you're feeling good about yourself and you feel like, okay, this is nice. Life is going pretty good. You're still sitting there saying, well, I didn't get any information about this tower falling. So did I actually win? The world. Yeah. Double clarification that the cycle is over. Okay. Like you've received justice twice. The Chariot, Victory, the Five of Scepters, and the Nine of Scepters. You receive victory for overcoming something by going into this fairly toxic situation. The Five of Wands, all the five cards represent warfare, okay? So it's like someone has victory from fighting this Five of Wands battle, and this is the only card that actually symbolizes the act of war, the act of fighting. All the other cards that symbolize warfare is like the preparation or the aftermath. This is the only card that represents, you know, people actually in battle. So with the nine of wands, this is you coming out on top and victorious within this situation. But here's the thing, and I feel like this really ties in the reading for you. The nine of wands represents someone who has been through a very bitter conflict. Okay. So you could be going through a very bitter divorce with the double clarification of justice. You might get a majority of the things that you are seeking and that you want. However, you're really wanting something bad to happen to another person. I don't feel like that's coming in for you. I feel like you're really holding on, hoping that something happens, but that's not, I don't think that's going to be relevant. I feel like you are only wanting that to happen because you still feel pretty bruised and battered by the situation. The Nine of Wands represents someone who has overcome the fight, the actual fight of the Five of Wands and is the victor, but they do have to like basically go to the hospital. There's someone who has to, you know, get their head checked out, they're wearing a bandage, they're leaned up on a crutch. So they're kind of sitting there wondering, was this battle worth it after all? Yes, I am victorious in the situation, but this person is still pretty badly beaten up. But you have victory representing a major victory with the chariot. So the daughter of knives clarifying the tower and the fool. I just feel like you have a brand new beginning. And here's the thing, Pisces, the world goes into the fool. All right. And I feel like you know that you're in a brand new cycle, but it just doesn't feel like it because you're still reeling from the past. So I feel like justice is coming in for you in February. You're going to be sitting pretty nicely with this King of Pentacles energy balance of the scales, right? I feel like in a way you might be getting news about this, but I think it's more so you just get a new cycle. Wheel of Fortune, Prince of Knives, and the Lovers. You might be getting information right here, but with the Wheel of Fortune, the Prince of Knives and the Lovers, it does represent that a very fast moving energy is coming in. It's fortuitous energy that spins you into a cycle that is actually meant for you. So I think the best thing that you can do right here, Pisces, is let go of the past. I feel like you're going to be very victorious. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm, I don't do love readings, but say for instance, you left a relationship, right? Maybe it's a divorce and you get the house, you get the kids, you get whatever, right? Now you might be sitting there wondering what's going to happen to the person. Well, that was the justice right there. And you shouldn't want any more than that. The justice is that you got what you needed. Now here's a new event coming in for you. That's going to spin you into the lovers. You're going to get news about this. So someone could be reaching out and trying to talk to you. Someone could be wanting to engage in conversation with you with this lover's energy connecting to you. You have the Ten of Scepters, the Daughter of Grails, and the Prince of Skulls. I feel like you need to drop the burden. Of staying stagnant. Okay. So here's the new opportunity coming in for you. But at the same time, your toxic ways might keep you stagnant. Is that the case? Yeah, the Three of Swords. Your toxic ways will keep you stagnant if you don't answer this call. So, 
you need, when you receive this message from this Prince of Knives right here about this lover's energy, and once again, this doesn't have to be a loving situation. It could just be that you are connected to a new cycle within your life. Um, or one that's uh, meant for you, something that's a lot better. Drop the burdens of the past and try not to stay stagnant. Because staying stagnant will only lead you down into more heartbreak right here. Who is the Prince of Knives? The Two of Skulls. Someone who has very balanced... They're trying to give you a very balanced emotional message, okay? Someone's coming in with the proper mannerisms. Someone's coming in educated, it seems like. Someone is fairly talkative, but they're also fairly emotional with the Four of Grills. So they seem to be a very balanced person, especially with his lovers. It could be a Gemini. You have the Prince of Knives, which is Geminian energy, and the lovers is Geminian. Yeah, Two of Cups wanting to connect to you on an emotional state, hoping that you reach out and take their cup and then you offer your cup back to them. So this could be a person actually wanting to reach out in a loving manner to you. Is this person good for you? You have the Queen of Scepters. And you have the Ace of Skulls. I feel like this is something that, you know, is very good. It's like another piece to the puzzle. So the Queen of Pentacles is sitting on her throne fairly nicely. She's beautiful. She's attractive. She's alluring. She has her own Ace of Pentacles. So that's fairly funny. So you have the King of Pentacles holding on to his pentacle, right? And the Queen of Wands is someone who's very attractive, but she's holding on to the Ace of Pentacles as well. So it's like this Queen of Wands is like a very fiery, passionate Capricorn energy. So they see you as stable, and you see them as stable. But they seem to be very exciting and like, you know, attractive or whatever the situation is. Something seems very exciting and attractive right here. But it does require you to drop the burdens of staying stuck in the past, okay? When this message comes in for you, try to engage with it. This situation, this cycle, whatever it is, it could be a person, place, thing, could be a new job. This could be a, a business proposition you want to start up. Whatever this cycle is, coming in, this person is fairly stable. This cycle is very good for you. It matches the energy. So the King of Pentacles can represent someone who's a little bit boring, very kind of, you know, stuck in his ways. But the Queen of Scepters is someone who's very fiery and passionate and, you know, sorry, I have a little message. Okay, it's going away. Said like the, the video had uploaded. Queen of Scepters, Ace of Skulls, just very practical, good with their money. And this could be, you know, a very stable job. It's exciting, but at the same time, it's practical. So you might have had jobs in the past that seem exciting, but they didn't get your paycheck on time. So, yeah. You have the Hanged Man, the Six of Skulls, and the Strength. You are holding yourself back, okay? You unable to move forward is holding you back with the Strength card. But at the same time, I feel like maybe you are too scared to put your emotions into a situation and whatever it is. So you do hold yourself back a lot, especially when this plays out in February. I feel like you're going to be fairly nervous. So it's going to be like, you know, justice, justice, receive something. Angels are taking care of you. You're very bitter about a situation or you're wanting something else to happen, but it moves you into a new cycle. At the same time, this happening you know, this new person is coming into your life or this new situation and it wants you to look at this opportunity right here and not hold yourself back and stay stuck in the past. The Eight of Skulls continue to work. You have the Five of Swords coming out with the Eight of Knives. Here's the thing. Work on your attitude right here. Work on the way that you speak to people. Work on just, you know, everything. Because the Five of Knives represents someone who is going to win at all costs and usually has very harsh, mean words to say to people. The Eight of Knives means being trapped in the past, can't see the way to go forward because you are stuck. So I feel like you need to work on your attitude right here a little bit. Not trying to call you out, I'm just saying. The Devil and the Queen of Pentacles.
So working on this energy is important and trying not to stay stuck to the devil or the queen of skulls, okay? If someone brings out this terrible energy from you, stay away from them, Pisces. Don't engage in conversations that bring out the absolute worst in you. Push back with the seven of scepters, the two of scepters, and new opportunities coming in the nine of knives. I feel like you're just worried about, you know, moving forward within your life. Push back on the devil. Don't give it any type of credence. You have a new opportunity coming in. The devil just wants to keep you chained to a cycle. The devil wants you to self-sabotage, okay? You and most humans have to self-sabotage themselves. You and the rest of humanity have to self-sabotage themselves, okay? You have a brand new opportunity coming in. The only person who can mess up this beautiful thing coming out for you is you. It is your bad attitude that is stemming from the Nine of Knives right here. Nine of Knives represents nightmares, anxiety, you know, stress disorders, whatever. So you need to relax when this comes in. Take it slowly. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles will want to take it slowly, but you have to hold, you have to at least move, okay? You can't just stay stuck in the past. You can't just not message this person back or, you know, get back in touch with whatever this is. Four of Knives, the Eight of Grails, and the Five of Grails. So with the Four of Knives right here, you need to have some sort of peace. And you need to walk away from the Five of Cups, which is regret and despair and loss. So have peace that you are walking away from this energy and connecting to the Two Cups with the Temperance energy. Remember, in the Five of Cups, there are two cups that are standing up. What is the em or what does the Temperance have in her hand? She has two cups. She alchemizes the oil and water into fire. So I feel like that's what needs to bring you peace as you are walking away from an old cycle, moving slowly towards a new cycle to, you know, have some nurturing from this temperance energy. You have the Queen of Knives upright and the Judgment along with the Ace of Knives. So I'm going to leave the reading here. I'm going to get you your Oracle cards because I feel like this is the reading that you need to know. Your Judgment can self-sabotage, all right? You have Justice coming in. You have a good cycle coming up for you. You've completed old things. You are getting, you know, compensated or whatever this is for the old cycles. Don't worry about, you know, causing despair, hoping more stuff happens. That's over. When this new cycle comes in, you need to act on that because that is what the angel is bringing in for you. Don't stay stuck on, you know, having a nasty attitude from whatever this was because that's what the devil wants you to do is self-sabotage. So you have the Ace of Swords right here telling you that you are going to move forward. You have victory. The Queen of Swords is represented by an attorney or a justice because it's Libra energy, right? So um, this attorney is handing down the judgment or this judge is handing down the judgment of victory right here. You have the truth. You have everything that you need to move forward. You have clarity, okay? So let's look at what's going on with the Spellcasting Oracle. What do we need to know? You are holding yourself back from whatever this new cycle is that could be very good for you. So take it easy. Take it slow. When justice plays out, you receive something. The other side receives something. I feel like you just want more to just happen, but it is what it is. Blank slate. That's what you're looking for. You don't really care. You should not care about what happens in the tower. You should not ever revel in someone else's downfall. You should not be happy when someone else has a downfall. What you need to focus on is just clearing your slate. That's it, okay? Whatever happens in the tower happens later on down the line. That's not a big deal. You just want, the only thing that you want, Pisces, is a blank slate. Nothing more, nothing less. Clarity. That's what I just said earlier about the Ace of Knives. You have the clarity. Animals. Focus on your animals right here. When we see animals, they are messengers to us. Deer, foxes, cats, you know, things of that nature. They all have messages behind them. Maybe you need to get a pet. Maybe your pet is worried about you. You have glamour and you have awareness. 
be aware of glamorous things, okay? The devil is kind of represented as a fairy energy, and this is what this is right here, fairy energy. The devil wants you to self-sabotage. Don't do that. Ren, be aware of that. Be aware that the devil is trying to get you to self-sabotage yourself. Let's look at your um, Awaken Oracles. Be aware of other people's glamour as well. Be aware that the tower, it looks appealing. It wants you to stare at it. It wants you to put all of your energy into hating this tower and wanting it to fall. La Luna, focus on the moon and brilliance, okay? I feel like the phases of the moon right here are very significant. Full moons is when you purge. New moons is when you know you should like try to manifest. If you're not good at manifesting, don't try to manifest. This always ends up pretty badly. Um, with this brilliance energy, I feel like things are going to be very crystal clear for you. It's going to have like a new life, a new luster to you. With this brilliance, you could be connecting dots right here, you know, putting two and two together. People could be seeing your brilliance. So, phases of the moon and the brilliance energy. Now, let's look at your um, Halloween oracle. I should probably get a new oracle deck, but like, there are no nice oracle decks out there. Like, I've been looking at them. And all the Oracle decks are like these really, really big like decks like this. And I just want something that's, you know, small, slim, whatever. That's why the Awaken Oracle deck is like my favorite one. Because they only have like two words on them. Um, Skull of Darkness, Blind Spots, Dawn, Light After the Darkness. So here's the thing. There's something that is going to be illuminated to you that you didn't see before. And that is going to lead you out of the dark with this Dawn, okay? So you have something to look forward to. Pay attention to your blind spots, especially when you're driving. Um, when I see the skull of darkness, it's just, you know, it's kind of like the hermit's lantern. You don't know what to do right here. It's a blind spot, okay? It is what it is. However, the skull of darkness is going to illuminate that to you. And it's going to show you something that you didn't see before that could be potentially dangerous to a situation. Maybe you were completely safe from a tower moment yourself. So... This dawn light after the darkness, once it's illuminated to you, you can see your way out of the woods and then you have full clarity and you're just like, wow, that was great. So let's look at your rune cards. You have Ehwa's horse. Moving, progress, travel, cooperation, and partnerships. The spiritual meaning is inner progress and duality of nature. You have fehe. Achieve a goal, attract money, succeed in business, and attain a promotion or a new job. So... I feel like this is very important for you, Pisces. Achieve a goal, attract money, succeed in business, and attain a promotion, okay? So if you're looking for work right here, this is the new cycle that's coming in. Just don't self-sabotage yourself by not accepting it. There is progress, there is movement here. You just have to drop the burden of stagnation. Inner progress and duality of nature. You could be focusing on the moon energy because the moon is fairly dual natured. You have um, the two scales of justice and you have double justice coming out. So. That's what's important to understand is that justice is also a very dual-sided card. Gemini is a very dual-sided energy. So anyway, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll talk to you later.